Hello friends, welcome to my channel JM Learning. Today we will learn the interpretation of condition of insulation topic under course of maintenance of electrical equipment. Myself is Mr. Jam Patil, senior lecturer, electrical engineering department, KK Vak Polytechnic, Nasik. Now, what are the methods of interpretation of condition of insulation? All of us know that the insulation is measured by the Mager test. Mager is the instrument that gives us the present value of the insulation or windings of the given electrical equipment. So, after measurement of that insulation, then how to interpret the condition of insulation? Four methods are there to interpret the condition of insulation. First is the dielectric absorption curve, second is the dielectric absorption ratio called as DR, third is the polarization index called as PI and fourth is the IR measurement by 2 mega. We will discuss each of the method in detail. So, first we will take the dielectric absorption curve. So, how we can interpret this condition of insulation by plotting this curve? First is how to plot this curve. To plot this curve, we have to take the readings of the insulation resistance of the windings of the given electrical equipment or electrical machines. Take the readings after we start the measure or the test for every 1 minute durations or we can multiply the time in minutes. At least 5 readings we have to take to plot this curve. Uh, for plotting this curve, we have to use on x axis the time in minutes and y axis the insulation resistance as measured by the mega and that value will be in mega ohm. We can get two curves. The first curve shows that the insulation resistance measured by the mega for certain interval of time of period in minutes is go on increasing. It means that for this figure number 1, our insulation resistance of the given windings of given electrical equipment increases. This graph, if we get from this test, then it will be called as the condition of insulation as clean and dry. The insulation does not contain any moisture or any kind of impurities in it. So, it is it in good condition. But if we get the graph like what is shown in figure number 2, figure number 2 shows that the graph of insulation resistance measured for certain period of interval of time in minutes is almost constant. It does not increase or decrease appreciably. It means that the insulation is being contaminated by dirt, dust or moisture or it may have the solid impurities or in case of oil it may have the dissolved gases or dissolved impurities. This kind of graph indicates that the insulation is deteriorated, it is weakened and it has to be reconditioned immediately because insulation is showing the deteriorating condition. So, immediate action are required if we get the graph number 2. So, by plotting the graph of insulation resistance versus time, we will get the condition of the insulation from this graph. This increase or being constant of the insulation resistance is more or less related to the dielectric absorption current that flows in the insulation. If that current flows continuously, then we get graph as shown in figure number 2. If that current decreases slowly and reaches 0, then we will get the what is shown in graph as figure number 1. So, this method gives us condition of insulation by plotting the graph of IR versus the time in minutes. Now, we will see the next method that is known as dielectric absorption ratio. First, we will see what is the dielectric absorption ratio. So, it is defined as the ratio of the mega reading for 1 minute period of time to the mega reading for 30 second time duration during measurement of 
insulation resistance of the given electrical equipment or machines. How we can define it mathematically? DAR will be equal to the mega reading at 60 second to the mega reading at 30 second after start of we start of the test. Now, what we can get from this DR? DR is the ratio. So, ratio will be a number. Significance of this number is that if you get this ratio below 1.25, it indicates that the insulation is weakened or it has become poor, it has absorbed the moisture, impurities in it and it should be immediately sent for recondition of the same. If we get the insulation resistance from this DAR as the ratio between these two range 1.45 to 1.65, we can conclude that the insulation is in good healthy condition when we did not have to do any kind of reconditioning. But what we if we get the value of 1.25 and below 1.45, it again indicate that the insulation has deteriorated slowly, but we do not require the immediate action. Action can be taken as per the work on that particular electrical equipment, but in a certain period of time, we have to recondition the insulation. So, this dielectric absorption ratio directly gives us the condition of the insulation for the given electrical equipment and we can take the appropriate action depending upon its value. Now, we will go to our third method which is the most popular method to know the condition of insulation and that is the polarization index Pi. How we can define this? It is defined as the ratio of the insulation resistance after 10 minutes to the insulation resistance after 1 minute. Mathematically Pi will be equal to IR value after 10 minute to the IR value after 1 minute. Now, how we can interpret from this Pi value the condition of insulation and here we have to take into account what type of class of insulation is being used for the given electrical equipment or machine. If we have the class insulation then the PI should be more than 1.5 for healthy condition of the insulation of given electrical equipment. For class B this PI should be of more than 2.0 for healthy condition of the electrical equipment insulation. So, depending upon the class of insulation, this number will vary and depending upon what value we are getting from the readings of mega and the PI, we have to decide action to be taken. If we get the value as recommended by given insulation class below value, then we have to take the immediate action. If you are getting above value, then it means that the insulation is in good conditions and this PI should be evaluated for a period of time in the maintenance schedule of the most of electrical equipment. Now the fourth method for getting the interpretation of condition of insulation is to use the two mega. So far as in all three previous method we are using only one mega of certain voltage rating. For this method, we require the two megas. One mega will be rated at 500 volt and another will be of 2000 volt. This is just for the example to understand this method. So, we are having two megas. One is 500 volt, another is 2000 volts. Their voltage rating ratio will be in 1 as 4. Now, we have to take the measurement of insulation resistance by each of these mega for few tens of minutes on given electrical machines and note down the readings. First take the reading for 500 volt mega, then take the reading for same electrical equipment or machine for 2000 volt mega and then plot the graph. If we get the graph, the graph will be of course the similar to our dielectric absorption curve. The x axis will have the time and y axis we are having the IR value in mega ohm. So, if we having plot this graph, then the graph may look like what is shown in this figure. The red color shows that it is the 500 volt mega reading graph and the green color shows that it is the 2000 volt mega reading graph. Now, what is the significance of this graph? The first significance is that if we have the spread of this graph is more, then it indicates the presence of moisture in the insulation of given electrical machines. 
it means that if the graph are more nearer it will indicate that the insulation is is in dry condition if they are more separated the distance it indicate that the insulation has observed the moisture or solid impurities or dirt dust and oily slicky layer is there so the insulation resistance has been decreased for 2000 old mega readings now another thing what we can interpret from this graph is that for the given time duration compare the readings of 500 volt and 2000 volt mega we know that this mega have voltage rating as 1s to 4 for this given time duration if the ir value of the 500 volt mega reading is more than 25% of what is for 2000 volt mega it indicate that the insulation has absorbed the moisture it means that any difference for the given time duration of more than 25% readings of 500 volt and 2000 volt mega it means that the insulation has absorbed the moisture it has solid impurities and need to be recorrected that is recondition to improve the ir value of given electrical equipment insulation of the their windings from it we can conclude that these four methods will be suitable for all type of machine but each has its own significance and everywhere we have to take the readings of mega for certain time of period and depend upon that either we have to plot the graph or we have to calculate the ratio as the ir or pi and then we can interpret the condition of insulation not a single method will be exactly 100% suitable we have to use more than two methods to get the most appropriate condition of insulation for given electrical equipment now for the students point of view what are the question that are asked in the previous examination on this particular topic first question which is asked many time is the least the type of method used to interpret the condition of insulation that we have just seen in our first slide four methods are there dielectric absorption curve second is dielectric absorption ratio third is polarization index and fourth is ir measurement by 2 mega the second question that is asked many times depending upon the method mentioned describe the dielectric absorption curve method to interpret the condition of insulation whatever here method given for every method we have to draw either the graph or we have to define that ratio and that it may be supported by the relevant diagram for measurement of ir by use of mega on given electrical equipment the standard diagram we can draw to support the answer and describe that method in detail your description must include here how the interpretation of that insulation from given set of reading or given graph or the given value of dr pr is being obtained so that is the core part of answering such kind of questions third question that is also many time defined is two ratios one is the dr another is pr dr we have defined as the insulation readings of the mega after 60 second to the insulation resistance mega reading after 30 seconds in the pi it is to be defined as the ratio of mega reading after 10 minute to the mega reading after 1 minute state the permissible value of dr and pi for good condition insulation for dr i had already told you that below 1.25 immediate action is taken above 1.45 and 1.65 range insulation health is in good condition between 1.25 and 1.45 we have to take the action but it can be taken in certain period of time while for pi it will depend upon the class of insulation if you get that value below the given permissible limit then we have to answer uh, we have to take the appropriate action to recondition insulation plus class a PI permissible limit is 1.5 and class B it is 2.0. Fifth question that is also also asked sometime in examination is that the IR measurement by two mega method. Here you can draw the appropriate diagrams, then explain the procedure adopted to draw, take the readings. In third paragraph you can draw the graph, and fourth you can interpret the ways in which 
the insulation condition is being interpreted. Here you have to take the two points, one is the spread of the graph and another is the difference in readings for same time duration of two different measures. Like this we can answer these questions as per the model answer requirement for the examining board or universities. With this I am sure that you have understood the procedure to interpret the condition of insulation of the given electrical machines with this and thank you.